What's up, everyone? It's your main man here, Second Hunter, aka uh, Crazy Dave. If you want to call me that, this will be an unboxing video for the Game Wave. I hope you enjoy. Hey, YouTube. It's uh, your main man here, uh, Second Hand Hunter. got this thing at Goodwill for 11 bucks. Let's open it up. The box is not really the best of condition. Let's see. Yeah, you see. But, stupid blurry camera. Yeah, there you see. But, um, it's alright. Still a box. Um, got this one here. Forward Degrees. The Arc of Trivia Volume 1. Oh, that's nice. Got a manual. But no game. Thanks, guys. Alright. I'll probably want to see the back. There you go. I have no idea. I just saw like a quick video of this on YouTube. It looked, uh, mm. Letter to zap. Let's open it up. And it looks complete. Need a disc. The disc looks like an excellent condition. Get back on there. Hard to do this with one hand. There we go. Oh, there we go. Put that over here. Still has the styrofoam thing here, and I'm gonna have to find a way to prop this thing up. So, and yeah, hold on a sec. So, here we go. I'm gonna pull this thing out here. Still got the styrofoam things, that's pretty cool. Try to keep it as good as I can. Oh, that thing's wow. That there. Nothing else there. Big. Put that right over there. Yeah. Wow. It's actually pretty light. Put those styrofoam back in there. Uh. Four remotes. It looks like. Says it could be up to six players. Can get this together. Yeah, That's what the controller looks like itself. Zap it games. Okay. And power cord, hardwired in. Nice. Uh, composite and S video there. Yeah. This thing's dusty, so it looks like someone was using it for a while and um, decided to box it back up. Nothing there. Looks like some vents on the top. There are a power button. That looks like a, that's an eject button. It says Game Wave right there with a piece of hair stuck in the plastic piece. Super glue that thing back down. Nothing right there. That's what the bottom looks like. The uh, um, stoppers are still in there. That's pretty cool. 
This thing's pretty small, actually. And I guess that's what it's supposed to look like from the side. That there's the console itself. Let's see if I can uh, plug this thing in. See if I can get it to work. So there we go, I got it all set up. I'm kind of disappointed this thing here didn't come with composite cables or component cables. The red, white, and yellow, I mean to say. Um, I just got up, sorry, that my knowledge isn't where it should be today. <laughs> uh, but those cables are so easy to find these days, and you can get them like a, for like a buck out. Uh, why am I trying to say McDonald's? Goodwill, I'm trying to say. So let's turn the sucker on, see what it does. Come on, don't make me a liar now. Alright, I'll do that again. Can't believe it, it just stripped the top of that stupid thing. Okay guys, plan B, I gotta do this thing from my desk here. So, um, looks like I gotta play against myself. Alright, select. After all players have joined, press A button, A. Everyone has joined in, yes, yes. Okay, I, I didn't want to play as green, I want to play as blue. A, yes. B, for, yes, okay. Uh, use, scroll, and select, and put my name. Okay. Hey, so I'm gonna put and green sounds good to me. And A. There we go. Oh, yeah, I gotta press green on, or A on that one as well. There we go. I don't wanna play as green. I wanna play as blue. Not green for me. I'm just waiting for me to grab that controller, thinking it's that one. Okay. Um what? Yeah. A B C D one. Okay. Sports I guess it is then. I know nothing about sports. Okay. A oh, wait what? Oh. Afghanistan's national sport stems from the ancient Mongols. As horsemen, they could swoop up a goat while riding at full gallop. Uh, I'll choose C. Both horse and rider must be highly skilled. If a uh, rider called Chapandaz is thrown, the horse is trained to wait. In most sports, the object is to get a ball into a net or across a goal line. In this sport, the ball is the carcass of a headless calf oh, or goat. Oh, that's polo. Before play, a calf is beheaded and soaked in water to withstand the tugging that takes place. In Afghanistan, this sport has all the buzz. That's polo. I answered wrong both times. <coughs> Minus 32, minus 82, nice. Okay, I guess there's no turns or nothing like that. You just hit it when you're ready or something. So, B, G, I don't know. Which what? And what? Do it again? Okay, I don't know. Next? Yeah, that looks good. Um, oh! You select the category by the number. Okay, cool. Um, 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 science. Oh, it's not that dude's turn. It's this dude's turn. All right, here we go. Science. Spanish colonizers in South America decried the practice of chewing its leaves as the work of the devil. Uh, opium on my shoes. 
In 1859, an Italian doctor declared it helpful to treat furred tongue, flatulence, and stained teeth. Uh, marijuana, I'm going to choose the fifth one. <laughs> Famous users of happy dust include Sigmund Freud and Sherlock Holmes. Hat cocaine. In the 1880s, it put the coca in Coca-Cola. It's cocaine. In 2003, this thriving industry managed an estimated 35 billion in U.S. sales, all with virtually no advertising. Huh. Lost that one too. Oh man! All right, let's try the other game. All right, got the other game in there. Let's see what it looks like after it's put in. But this one's all balls. Looks like like a word type of game. Personally, I wouldn't really um, care for uh, playing these trivia type games on my own. Well, it says game DVD, so I wonder if this is like just like a DVD player itself. I'll try that out after um, we get done with this one. This has like super long load times. That's like awful. I hate that. I do not like that at all. Letter zap. Cool. Come on. Yeah, it's so not cool. I just did the shoot on the wall type thing, and that again. I turned it off. I'm sorry. That'll kill. Uh, choose your game cube or tag? Uh, I don't know. I don't want to go as green. I'll go as a uh, cube. Uh, sure. Uh, select, uh, select, and a, a, uh, that one was plays green. Uh, looks good to me. A, looks good to me. A. Amazing these had good batteries in them. I'll play as green. Um, um P A L that's the word. Um U S go oh, come on. S S S S S S No you You all you No D A B There we go, there's a word. Um A L G Come on G No G L Oh I okay G A O Oh what? Whatever Okay G E No X. Ted. Ted. No oh, Ted. Tep. Tess. Whatever. I gotta tend to my son right now. So that took forever to calm him down. Basically, after the thing ends, it goes back to this here. It shows you how much you scored. And you click. Click the next button to go to the next one. 
Next up, next round. Let's see. Um, M A Med. No. Meth. Men. Men's a word. Whatever. So I'm gonna stop this here with the eject button. And I wanna see if it works with a DVD. So I got a DVD here. Let's put this one back in its case. that out. Take Star Wars out. Let's see if this works with DVDs. Put that in there. Insert it. Game wave starting up. It's all new here for me because I have not done this. Feeding. In a minute. And it looks like it plays DVDs as well. Let's uh, let's fast forward. There you go, and it's playing Star Wars. So that's basically a DVD player for special DVDs. I wonder if it works reversible thing like that. I'm going to take those DVD game things there and put them in an actual DVD player see if that actually works. Okay, I got my DVD player there. Let's see. Okay, dropped the one of them on the ground there, but let's take that there. Let's do an experiment. I'm going to take this and put it in there. And let's see what happens. Load. Oh, that's weird. So I don't have a remote for this thing here. I do got a DVD player on the side of my monitor, so I'm going to try that next. Okay, I got that there. Let's put this. Oh, and I dropped the disc. Beautiful. Let's put that on the side of the monitor. Hopefully I put it in the right way. Alright, let's just see when we start up. No disc. Means I put it in the wrong way. Okay. Loading. Let's see, comes up with the same thing. There. Let's check this out since I got a remote to go through it now. Alright, oh, it's nothing. Okay, go back. Go down, history. Nothing. Science, nothing. Sports, nothing. Lifestyle, nothing. Geography, nothing. Data, nothing. Hi, friends. Nothing. Images, nothing. Movies, nothing. Sounds, nothing. So that's all that comes up for that one there. Let's try the other one. Let me check this one out. One, check. Actually, I think we already did try the other one. But, do it anyways. Pause this real quick. Yeah, I got the DVD. And let's put this thing in.
Um, no disc again. Nice day. Oh, yeah. Same thing again, data. Nothing. Dead again, nothing. Nothing. So, looks like this is like a DVD based game system, but um, the system itself has some sort of special thing that reads these discs that other DVDs don't read them. So, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. And that was the uh, game wave there and my opinion on it it's um it's not something I play every day you know it's not Mario basically but if you're like having your boss over for dinner or um, your parents over for dinner or something like that um, that'd be a cool thing to pass time till food gets done or something like that um, she's like, hey, you want to play this game right here? It's a trivia type game or something like that. Kind of like the uh, Family Game Night from uh, uh, Hasbro's or whatever the heck that company is. Um, family orientated type of game system, I guess it is. But, um, yeah, I guess it could be fun. Um, definitely would love to see what other type of thing type of games they got for it but, um, yeah for 11 bucks that's that's pretty good I'm not complaining I saw online it went from about 30 to a hundred dollars depending upon the condition it was and everything brand new like hundred something dollars so I'm glad I didn't pay a hundred dollars for it and get that I mean 11 bucks that's that's pretty good so um, that's my unboxing and kind of review of the game system, so um, thanks for watching. Again, it's your main man here, Second Hand Hunter. Um, rate, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I'll catch you guys next time. See you later. What's up, your main man here, Second Hand Hunter?